Marlene. Welcome to the recommendation station. The question that I'm often asked is, Marlene, what do you eat for breakfast? So I thought today I would show you four or five different ideas that you can put together for a fantastic nutritionally punched breakfast, all of them in under five minutes. Do you remember the old sages used to say, breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dine like a pauper. So why is it important to have a really good breakfast? Because that's what boosts your metabolism and kickstarts it in the morning. So it's really important that we have a nutritious breakfast. It keeps us in tip-top condition with great energy and vitality throughout the whole day. So here is my recipe for breakfast granola. Now you can of course um, add whatever seeds and, seeds and nuts you want. I've put in here some jumbo oats, some mixed seeds and nuts, some fruits, toasted sunflower seeds and in the wet ingredients I have some rice syrup which is obviously a grain based sweetener, some vegetable oil, I used sesame oil and some apple juice. I'm going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, give it a good mix round and of course you can use whatever quantities you desire depending on how much you're going to make. I've already made half of the quantities so it's already prepared which I can show you in the next few minutes. This is going to be put into the roasting pan and we're going to roast that in a hot oven at 180, 360 degrees for about 30 minutes. The important thing when you're making your own granola is you have to, probably every 5 to 10 minutes, stir the mixture because what will happen is that the brown, it will start to brown around the edges of the outside and you want to keep mixing it so you have an even brownness and crispness throughout the whole pan. So the easiest way I find to do this is using a fish slice and I just come back in to the mixture and move it around. So we'll get that put in the oven for about 25-30 minutes. Breakfast dish number two. Whole grain, beautiful brown rice, cooked from the fridge. You take one cup, I store usually three, four days in the fridge, a full glass container and uh, add one cup of water to one cup of rice in the morning. It takes three, four minutes just to simmer into a lovely creamy porridge and you'll see what I add on the top. Breakfast number one, toasted sourdough bread is delicious with any of the spreads that I have used today or choose your own. Sugar-free jams are delicious, as are tahini. Take some tahini from the jar and add a little bit of water just to thin it out and mellow the taste slightly. Also, peanut butter, almond butter, and when you really become a professional, you can start using bean spreads. Breakfast number two, homemade granola. Wonderful for the whole family. Get your kids involved in the kitchen and uh, keep it stored in some glass containers. It lasts for weeks on end. It's a great way to support yourself by eating this homemade cereal. It contains slow energy release and foods that's going to sustain you throughout the whole day. Breakfast number three, brown rice porridge, a huge favourite of mine. Making a batch of rice to use for a few days, storing it in the fridge in a glass container is a, an easy way to prepare breakfast as you saw me doing earlier. And just add some sunflower seeds, some pumpkin seeds, some raisins, whatever you desire. And I have some chia seeds on top of mine because I'm a huge fan of chia seeds. The green juice. In the morning, make yourself this juice. Only takes a few minutes again. And it's the highest form of energy you can intake, you know. So green juices increase your cellular health, rejuvenating every atom in your body. Breakfast number four. If you look to recommendation station 5, which was my previous clip, you'll be able to follow me uh, making some miso soup together. And steam greens alongside this is the most incredible form of minerals, 
Calcium strengthens your bones, helps your blood to absorb oxygen. It's just the breakfast of champions. So try and get on board and make steamed greens. Okay. I hope that was helpful and lets you see really how simple and easy it is to really have a nutritious breakfast in under five minutes. Remember if you're having the cooked breakfast to keep your rice in the fridge pre-cooked so you're really just warming in the morning and the stock for the miso soup. All you're doing is taking the amount of stock you need, adding some fresh miso paste. It, it's done in minutes. Thank you so much for watching and remember in my book Macrobiotics for All Seasons there's over 200 recipes, medicinal teas and home remedies to keep you fighting fit and full of vitality and energy. See you soon.